Mike Flay spills Megan applied to The Bachelor show to find rich men, but removed after Deal or No Deal fired her. Years before becoming the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle could have been on screens vying for a rose on ABC's long-running dating show The Bachelor. At the time, the royal hadn't yet found fame on USA Network's hit drama Suits for her portrayal of Rachel Zane. Instead, this consideration is said to have come after she starred on Deal or No Deal as a briefcase model in 2006 and the following year. The creator of the Bachelor franchise, Mike Flace, disclosed this on X where he revealed he needed permission before sharing Meghan's near appearance on his show. He confirmed, just got the go-ahead to reveal this shocking fact. Right after she left Deal or No Deal, Meghan seriously considered applying to be on hashtag The Bachelor, hashtag sliding doors. The Bachelor producer removed Meghan Markle from the list of girls because of her poor quality. The Bachelor is an American dating and relationship reality television series that debuted on March 25th, 2002 on ABC. If she would have got on the show, she'd have resorted to dirty tricks and schemes to try to get the other girls to give up their spots or not want to compete. Look up the Daily Mail article with one contestant, she may have won, that called Megan a nobody, she's one of us. The only star on The Bachelor is The Bachelor. The women are 25 wannabes with equal billing. Megan's really full of herself, and for certain she sent in a video to be a contestant but wasn't picked. Although she wasn't chosen to star by the producers in the reality show, in 2022 Megan shared details about being a briefcase model on the game show and revealed why she quit. In an episode of a Spotify podcast, Archetypes, Megan said that she was treated like a bimbo on Deal or No Deal. The Markle added that she didn't like how the show made her feel like she wasn't smart and stated, I didn't like feeling forced to be all looks and little substance. Megan stated, that's how it felt for me at the time being reduced to this specific archetype, the word bimbo. She also claimed the models were forced to line up for beauty treatments. We were even given spray tan vouchers each week because there was a very cookie cutter idea of precisely what we should look like. It was solely about our beauty. I was surrounded by smart women on that stage, with me, but that wasn't the focus of why we were there, and I'd end up leaving with this pit in my stomach. Like I said, I was thankful for the job, but not for how it made me feel, which was not smart. Moreover, Megan was also desperate to get onto Made in Chelsea to try to hook one of those rich Englishmen, but of course she wasn't Made in Chelsea, and I doubt would have got an audition. Her delusions were off the scale. Now we're told the gigs that she considered yet preferred to hang with Harvey Weinstein and friends. Not that she got much film or TV work from that friendship. If Weinstein had anything to do with the show, he might have said something to her at Soho House for some favours besides serving the drinks.